This legend has captured the imaginations of comic book readers everywhere, and he has a habit of popping up on big screens when least expected. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for Stan Lee's top 10 movie cameos. There was a time when it was all about comics for me. For this list, we're sticking to this Marvel Legends cameos in film. You fanboys are unbelievable. Do you think you can just ring my doorbell anytime you want? We're basing our picks on a combination of the impact of Stanley's appearance, whether it's comedic or directly affects the movie's plot. Stanley wouldn't lie to you. Number 10. Stan Lee as mental patient, Thor The Dark World. There's nothing more reassuring than realizing that the world is crazier than you are. This Stan Lee cameo puts the former Marvel president in a place we never thought we'd find him. It's simple. Any questions? Yeah, can I have my shoe back? Lee's on-point delivery of this scene's punchline brings the audience back to Earth after an awe-inspiring lecture from Dr. Eric Selvig concerning an imminent threat to the universe. All nine realms are passing through each other, and gravity, light, and even matter is crashing from one world to the other. Let's just say it makes for a well-needed break in the hammer-filled action. Number nine, Stan Lee as Willie Lumpkin, Fantastic Four. If having special powers is a disease, then yeah, we got it bad. Lee's first cameo as a comic book character came in the form of the faithful mailman from his popular superhero team. Welcome back to the Baxter, Dr. Richards. I've got the usual for you. Which is only fitting, since he created Willie Lumpkin back in the early 60s. While the Fantastic Four dealt with their newfound powers and danger, Stan brought some heart in a way that was least expected, despite his short screen time. Good to have you back, sir. Thanks, Willie. We had a tough year. Yeah, like nine straight. Number eight, Stan Lee as security guard, Hulk. Tough, mean, and scary. And no, we're not talking about the titular green monster. Lee reunited with Lou Ferrigno to treat fans to this security guard tandem of two legends. As far as I'm concerned, security ought to be beefed Good morning, Dr. Krenzler. Security ought to be beefed up a lot more. In a place like this, you can't... In the midst of Hulk smashing through military forces and daddy issues... Oh, some more repressed memories. ...came this gem of a cameo that served up some cooling relief to the film's menacing tone. Everything, your extraordinary mind, has been seeking all these years. It's been in sight. Number seven, Stan Lee as Larry King, Iron Man 2. Larry King. Larry! Oh, yes, my people. My people. No lines uttered here, but Stan fills in for another New York native with an equally recognizable and distinct voice. Well, I never heard of him. This cameo fit in very nicely with the glitz, glam, and spectacle we came to expect from Tony Stark. I am Iron Man. The suit and I are. One. Which only highlighted the robot throwdown right around the corner. Number six, Stan Lee as Man in Times Square, Spider-Man 3. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. That popular catchphrase found its way into the action-packed conclusion of Sam Raimi's Web Slinger trilogy. This could be a tragic day for the people of New York. It could be the end of Spider-Man. With relax and ease, Stan gives Peter Parker food for thought, a solid message that cuts through the difficulties and challenges that the webhead would later face from both himself and the film's rogues gallery. They're gonna kill us both. I'm gonna get you out of this. Number five, Stan Lee as Hugh Hefner, Iron Man. The great Hef. And boy, did he. Clad in typical Hugh Hefner apparel and donning a pipe, it's easy to see why Tony had to compliment the mustachioed comic book mastermind. Hey, Tony. You remember me? Sure don't. Whether or not Tony actually mistakes our beloved Stan for the Hef is unclear. However, we just like to believe Tony probably had bigger fish to fry. Ironic, Tony! 
Time to rid the world of weapons. You gave it its best one ever. Pepper! And now, I'm gonna kill you with it. Yeah, we don't think he was concerned about mixing up two legends. Why aren't you wearing those pajamas I got you? Good night, Tony. Number four, Stan Lee as random citizen, the Avengers. I'll have that drink now. Words we never thought we'd hear from Stan were uttered on screen in the heartwarming finale of this blockbuster hit. Superheroes in New York, give me a break. Amidst a mosaic of speakers, Stan's cameo put the events of the film in perspective, giving viewers a taste of what living in a world with superheroes would feel like. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. After all, isn't that what Stan Lee has been trying to do with his work all this time? You an alien? What? I'm out of space, an alien. No. Well then, son, you've got a condition. Number three, Stan Lee as the uninvited guest. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Uh, invitation, sir. Um, I should be on that list. Name? Stan Lee. Yeah, uh, nice try, buddy. Nice no, no, try. really, nice I'm try. Stan Lee. Yeah. It seems as though charm wasn't enough for Stan to buy his way in to see two of his creations get hitched. His rejection actually has a silver lining, as he could have gotten seriously hurt. With the mysterious Silver Surfer throwing a wrench into everyone's plans. Oh, that is cool. And the evil Doctor Doom and Devourer of Worlds Galactus capping off the list of baddies. It seems like fun time was over before it even began for the Fantastic Four. All that you know is at an end. Number two, Stan Lee as the librarian, the amazing Spider-Man. Uh-oh, somebody's been a bad lizard. Your friendly neighborhood librarian? Yes, indeed, the web slinger's return to the big screen featured a Stanley cameo not to be missed. The film's action was filled with Spider-Man's quick wit. Don't move! Are you serious? Who are you? No one seems to grasp the concept of the mask. Making the addition of his creator in this memorable fight sequence all the more fitting and slick. Fortunately, he's a lot more confident in the costume than he is with the ladies. Um, so, uh, you want to, uh, I don't know. Um. Want to what? I don't know. Just, uh. Um. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Did it work? Guess it had a little more kick than he was looking for. Wow. Captain America! Captain America! Captain, that's your cue. I thought he'd be taller. Of course, the Green Goblin showed up. Number one, Stan Lee as the romance expert Mall rats. It's pretty much the same thing. Oh my god. Holy shit! Aren't you? Oh, Stanley. Hi. His longest cameo appearance had to be our top choice. Jagger and me, we had a running contest to see who had the most. Matter of fact, last time I looked, I was way ahead. Damn, that's hot! This cult classic gave our beloved mastermind a central and important role with which he helps Brody realize his mistakes. Dr. Doom wears body armor to conceal his own mangled form, right? Yeah. Okay. That was me beneath the armor. The Hulk. A normal guy one minute, a rage of emotions the next. Just like me when I thought about what I'd given up. Of course, he wasn't going to let it all be sentimental. Hey, you know, I think he bought it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. what kind of story did you give him? Oh, it was the Vulture soliloquy, you know, from the Spider-Man anniversary issue. Let's just say Stan is a better actor than we all thought, and offered some key observations about the Mallrats character. He seems to be really hung up on superhero sex organs. But 
I'll He'll outgrow it. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Stanley cameo? Shit, man, you are a god! For more epic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Excelsior! Thank <music> you.